I'm just riding beside. Let's take a little trip. Listen, man, it's the Jack, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling with my boy Kick It right now, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is 187 Prod. You know what I'm saying? That you're watching right now, man. So, you know, everybody, all the supporters, man, thank y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, without y'all, it wouldn't be no us, man. And this is why we rocking right now, man. Yeah. Smoking a stick to that bunny, but not the purple dinosaur. That shit that niggas dying for. Shit, my niggas wide nose, ass with the windows up. See the smoke pour out. Soon as I open the door, soon as I go to the store, boys is like, whoa, who got it? You know who got it, nigga. Summertime coming up, can't breathe without it. Bring the hypnotic, bring the heat, mix that shit and turn green. Now break down the purple, you're softly rough. Milwaukee Bucks, I'm from the place where they grow that stuff. They got your girl in the clutch, just give me your life. I take that bitch, and she ain't give me head all night. Selling dope is cool, but rap is on my mind. It's hard to do them both and get my bread at the same time. I just fuck off purple, man, I'm out my mind. Gotta grab my strap, boy, it's time to do some more crime. Let me see your light up, big head. They gonna love this guy. They gonna love him in France, huh? Not only in France, I guess. <laughs> Everywhere. You ever seen a guy this big out there? Uh, yeah. What? They got, yeah. I thought y'all don't eat out there, man. <laughs> oh man, just pouring a little liquid heroin in this. Liquid heroin. You guys use heroin out there? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, no, but maybe, yeah, yeah. No, this is this is hash. <laughs> Hashies, liquid hash. I prefer that. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> it was, um, uh... You gotta ask these guys. I'm actually so old. I don't even fucking remember how I met these dudes. Uh, they're younger than me, so they they remember everything better. So basically, you were like like uh, a big brother to them. Uh, yeah. Okay. I told them. Everything so it was like. At school? <laughs> huh? At school or? Yeah. No, no, they know. They know. They know. They, 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 they Talent grow. contest. Yeah, they grow. The guys wanted to learn how to rap, but taught them how to rap. <laughs> <laughs> nah, real shit though, uh, you know. That's also that's version. Nah, real, nah, real shit though, we, uh, you know, we grew up together, you know what I'm saying? We from remotely the same areas, you know what I'm saying? East Bay, you know what I'm saying? Basically, man, we was young and just made a group. We was ill, man, you know what I'm saying? All right. Nothing else to it, man. There's no typical answers, no typical. Yeah, I was so at the. Uh, how, how did you hook up with Sibo? Because it was. He heard it was a pack of young niggas that was dope as fuck. Yeah. Dollar Jail came and found us. Went to the lab, sold 250,000 records, man. When was it? Nothing else to it, man. 97, 98, something like that? 99, 2000. 99, 2000? Mm -hmm. All right. He was, looking, he was starting a new label. And we had the talent. We didn't know we was going to be a group. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We was already like a group, you know, but we was all doing our solo thing. Me and Fetty was a group. Huss was a solo artist. Ryder J was a solo artist. And uh, AP9 was a solo artist. But, uh, cause, you know, we just always, we grew up together, like he said, and we, we recorded out of the same studio. So we was on a lot of the same shit anyway. So, um, you know, it was, we had chemistry. Whether we liked it or not, we had some of the best chemistry. So they made us a group, you know what I mean? It was, it was, it was unbelievable, man. You know. Let, let us know what's up with the show tonight in Pedaluma. It's real lightweight. You missed it last night. It was sold out. We just did this for all the people who couldn't get in last night and everything, man. So you know, it's lit, man.
Being a rapper and having a talent, sometimes people get it twisted because a lot of people just want to be famous. It's people who want to be famous, and then it's people with talent. That was a talent is a gift that God gave you. You know what I'm saying? So for us, rapping and making music and dope songs is like doing this right here. That's ah. <laughs> <laughs> what it, it's all. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just that simple because it, it's not like it's, it's a gift. You know what I'm saying? So it's right now we got a dope song. You know, the type of shit I rap about more, you know, struggling and shit like that. We all rap about it, though. You know, we all rap about the same things, but, you know, Fetty, he, he more Fetty. His name says says it off. He about his dope. You know what I'm saying? He talk about extravagant, real life, real shit. Hustler, you know, his name is Hustler. So, you know, you know, you only get a name like that because you hustle, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't heroes, man, but it's, it's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we keeping this shit lit. You know what I mean? And his story speaks for itself. You know, if you know who Hustle is and you know what he about. And uh, Ryder J. Cloudy, a Ryder, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, he getting his money and he don't give a fuck. You know, he a real nigga. And uh, AP9. Yeah, what? He got that rapid delivery. That AP, that nigga, that AP nine. That nigga, that AP. You know what I'm saying? What, what, so he got that. Actually, what, what AP nine stands for? Because uh. That's a gun called oh, AP nine. Okay. okay. Yeah, and uh, cause he got rapid delivery. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And he, he killing these motherfuckers with it. You know? So uh, yeah, you know. That, so that's that's basically how it all started and shit, man. You know, and uh, and that's what we bring to the table as far as a group. You know, everybody got their own thing that they do. You know what I'm saying? 30s on my cousin's feet, coming with me, sitting up, putting a black cat, hard head, guap. The Lord of King, when I speak, let you build the cap. Remember me? Did it all for the MOB, seeing shit you dream to see. It's the life of one, be right till my niggas free. You know what I'm saying? We'll save the world, but I'm just a man. And wanna sleep on the truth, but I overstand. You should know the ropes, I shouldn't have to hold your hand. Be a pro, get the life I never lived. Muslims, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, also, we Muslims, man. You know, you might see us doing things that uh, that the normal Muslim won't do. You know what I mean? But uh, just like we Americans too, you know. So we had to grasp, grab this religion and, mm -hmm. and really want it, you know, because it wasn't taught to us in school. You know, our parents wasn't Muslims. You know what I mean? It was just something that uh, we had to go deep and find. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, we still. Still a little roughly, but we believe, you know, we believe in Allah. We believe Allah is the one. You know what I mean? Actually, so, what religion brings to, to your music? Well, it just brings some substance to the music because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of people are listening to our music. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to make sure we say it because it ain't nothing but positivity. When you talk about religion, it's talk about, it's talk about nothing but pure positive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... You have to, you know, you bring that to the music, it brings substance to the music. Now it's like, okay, we listening to this shit more for, 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 for knowledge now. You know what I'm saying? Even though these niggas talking the street shit and doing the street shit hella dope and they got bars and they rap hella tight, they also talking about real life, things that we can learn from and we can, you know, we can, we can grow with it. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we from the struggle anyway. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The reason why we even found Islam is because we were struggling people, you know what I'm saying? We struggling for, for we, we in a mental war, spiritual war, you know what I'm saying? Physical war, everything. So it's like, it's, 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 it was, it, it, it's not hard for us to do nothing, you know what I mean? Because we already had it hard as black youth trying to grow up and become men, you know what I mean? 
And now that we men, we only obligated to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, someone say the yeah. noise right now. If I was you, I would, I would probably buy uh, the first My Figures album, Sebo's My Figures. Mm -hmm. Just to just put yourself in the time, remember when it what what it was like in those times, 99, you know, 98, 2000. Remember what that was like, and then, you know, you know, then grab all the other albums. My solo album, FedEx solo album, The Hustler solo album, Ryder J. Clyde solo album, AP9 first solo album. Then grab the Devil's Rejects, the Devil's Rejects too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Grab the, the drought season with me and <laughs> Turner, and then, you know, uh, the go bots with me and Lee Major. Just grab everything you can because it, it's all, it's like a, all like a time capsule. You know what I'm saying? Because it captured that moment of time of what was going on in life then. Because we really represent life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? In, in the streets. You know so. Every time we drop so much shit, is because shit is constantly changing. So you gotta constantly change with it. And it ain't like back in the days when everybody else was rapping and doing it. You know, shit changed faster nowadays. So you gotta, you gotta constantly hit them. You know what I mean? Like back in the days, you could drop an album and not come out for two, three years. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Now, if you do some shit like that, you, you're off them up. Yeah, you might not even, you might not even make it, man. You know? Uh -huh. know what you mean? What the fuck is the seven oh seven?
that sound, people say, they hear us saying mob, so they, 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 they instantly think it's a sound, like the sound of music. But the whole thing is that we saying mob because, you know, of the street shit. We ain't really saying it because of the sound of music. It's, it's not even rap necessarily, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But since we, we live a hip hop culture, then that's what it is, you know what I mean? It's hip hop, but uh, you know, it, it, the sound is just like, it's the mob figure sound, you know what I mean? It's that dope samples, dope beats, the best beats ever, you know what I mean? And just having bars with the street shit. We saying street shit with actual, it's making sense and it's clever, you know what I'm saying? Mm. My middle name is Crime. What's your last name? Shit, I, that is my last name. That's my first, my last, and my middle name, man, you know? <laughs> it's a life, you know? It's a life of crime, man. I, you know, we, we, we like the rap shit, though. You know, we do, but you know what I'm saying? The crime shit is what, 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 what we came from, so it's gonna hold us back, too, you know what I'm saying? Because every, we, we know that everything come along with the life, that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Nigga lucky to make it as far as we made it, you know? But uh, we still here, man. We still pushing, man. You know that, and that was the root of it all. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. It ain't a lot out here for us. You know that's gonna save us. So we gotta do what we gotta do. The second time I fell in love with Robin Wood. Bitch, the first time I fell in love with Robin Wood. The second time I fell in love with Robin Wood. So this is the Jacka watching for the first time of his life footage from Larry Bird. <laughs> Ain't that some shit, man? Yeah. I never knew this nigga was this raw. He was playing against real boys. I don't know about you get so dope. You just be everything you throw up going. If you didn't know about Olivier Tom, now you know. That's the shit. That's the shit, right? Yeah. You have to, to use a sample out of it. Because if you use a sample from that, every people in France will know it's that. Oh, that's slap too, huh? That's Olive and Tom. <laughs> Olive and Tom. Olive and Tom. Oliver and Thomas. He take that shit, huh? He said, come on. <laughs> yeah, it was a of funny because they, they did some impossible tricks, you know. Yeah, look. <laughs> Those are affordable, man. Man, it's like a new Picasso, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You can actually afford one of those, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And uh, but you know, a lot of rich motherfuckers wear those too. Don't get it twisted. It, it's just, it's a fashion. It's it's dope. It's just fashion, man. Right. And my nigga's the creator of it, so you know. Y'all remember Jerry Jelly, man? Like you know candy what I'm saying? Shit, man. Like candy. My nigga Joe Blow. You know what I'm saying? He dope. Look out for that nigga. I this nigga got so much shit, it's hard. He don't know, man. Yeah. He got to hit him. I'm gonna have to play. I'm My boy know. right there, man. He really from Dubai, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to my man over there, man. He got him an Eastern European. Woo! What, what, what's that going that? on right here? What's going on right here? Damn! How long you got? Hold on. Shut up, shut up. Rip it, rip it open. Yeah. We're on the way for Christmas, man. Rip this.
this shit open, man. This shit don't stop. Man. Hey, check this out. I want all my girls in this motherfucker to say Jack. Jack. Say Jack. <laughs> Tracks a million. Uh, Do Kenny, you know, the mechanics. We got hella producers. The producers is, you know, I feel like, you know, the producers you use should be just as serious about it and good at it as you, as you plan on being. You know what I'm saying? If you plan on trying to make the best music out there, you gotta, you, you gonna have to have dope producers. The producers gotta be just as good as you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just as creative and ready to go in as deep as you ready to go in. Because, it, uh, you know, sometimes rapper is dope as fuck, but the the beats he rapping on is holding him back. You know what I'm saying? So when you independent, you can't, you gotta be, and you plan on sticking out like a sore thumb, but you gotta be really just, had a dope as shit, period. Mm -hmm. That shit gotta be, they gotta be comparing you, because they compare us to the greats. It ain't like, they like, oh, you the dopest in the bag, shit like that. Nah, we up there, they comparing us with niggas who done went multi-platinum and all that kind of shit, you mm -hmm. know? And we ain't, we just underground niggas. We ain't, we ain't never had a major record deal. You know, we never went and got shopped our shit and had no major shit going on. We just, we just, only thing we did was let, our, let the skills pave the way for us, you know? I think it's just that when labels sign artists and shit, it's kind of tough to really... Because they'll sign an artist just because he got a buzz on the radio or he got a, a something more going on like that. More than we gonna sign these niggas because they fucking dope as fuck. And the world gonna love these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because it's an investment. And, and uh, usually when you make an investment, it's an investment. It's like a lifetime thing. But nowadays, like investment is like drugs. It's like a quick flip. You want to you wanna have a quick flip. You know what I'm saying? You ain't trying to have your money over there too long. You know what I mean? So... Motherfucker just look for the easy way out. Do a little single, do this, hope that hit. And and, and so so that's what happens with, with a nigga like E-40 and shit like that. And Snoop, comparing him to Snoop because, you know, Snoop, he gonna make that song that it, it, the whole world is finna love it because it's exactly what it's made for. Okay, it's a jingle right here. You know, E-40, he tried to make those too, but you know, he more, in, it, he came from just making underground music first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as like when Snoop came out, he was basically already on. As soon as he started really doing it, two, three years of rapping, he was bam, he on. You know what I mean? We get money just as much as major artists, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, we, we, we doing the same numbers, mm -hmm. you know, as far as take home checks, man. You know what I'm saying? And having our own 100% owning our shit, you know what I'm saying? We doing, you know, if you go to major level and they put $2 million in you and you make $2.2 2 million, Back in revenue, you only gonna get two hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna go press up a certain amount. We'll go, you know, get three hundred and don't mm -hmm. owe nobody nothing. You know what I'm saying? So preserving that indigenous music will keep us how we are. You know what I'm saying? That's what make you bear is different than other people. We people out here don't really take too much. Of you transitioning over and doing other stuff. You know what I'm saying? You you gonna do what we fuck with or you know what I'm saying? You out there with them? You gonna know, go move to L.A. or go move to New York or Atlanta? And you know you be successful all that, but Back home, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Keep this shit lit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all it really is. You know what I'm saying? It's like we preserving this shit. You know what I'm saying? We preserving our culture.
Busting at these suckers, now they got me reminiscing Fuck, I brought my nigga out of the chat They set my nigga up, cause he wouldn't buy no crack Sixteen, we run in the chamber As he released the whole clip, it gave me anger Memories of my homie just in my mind No more smoking, no more talking, no more bone rocks Follow through with the time when the bridge shit My cousin Jim and Michelle got the light trip I cannot understand with the mind of a lunatic This reminiscent man is making me sick Busting and cussing motherfuckers and riding hurts And every fucking time I hear the same damn Cuss and rest in peace, why the body gotta be the six Stuck in the dirt so we could be released huh, from the pressure And leaving all the pain in the earth Mama's happy baby, they get me stuck in the dirt When the land of the mind on the street, man That's how we got your take it to the fucking city I picked the paper and read it the next day And when I left the air, child was thrown away Hey, you know what? Since you're playing some old school, early 90s, very amok shit, what were your favorite artists from back in those days? The one you grew up listening to? This is Black Dynasty, I grew up listening to them niggas. That's what they say, sorry, hoochies, I can't stay, I gotta ride the foothill strip in my cemetery. Just peep out what's next, check it out, I'm about to flow. Jumping in my photo share because it's time to G.O. Motherfucking Steve-O. 97 sport in shorts, the max that you wear, worth about a quarter meal ticket is how we dress true ballers make a meal tickets up in the west i know you're gonna touch us cause at the club the ladies rush us cause we all about our dad luxury living in hoes love it having money by the gun rolex and bolsolini seagram the home of the merciful no pitying young brothers that's down for the city but how could you be down for old town when you don't pull your people up you put them down three times sometimes i sit by his grave site and drink gin Peace, Big Dale. He was a soldier. Brother Lynch. In no doubt, and ain't no motherfucking doubt. Me set ripping niggas apart like an earplug fatality. Yeah, this is how it's done, nigga. I got love for the block, four times for the block, nigga. Yeah. It man, you know what I'm saying? RBL, niggas. It's the BLA to the to the K. From that the city right away, your brother get his mug on it, Mac on like every day. But anyway, we can get him up or shoot him up. Having an ass bounce three times while Mr. C be schooling. The whole dangerous crew, all that shit. If I call Marie, I know for a fact I get work in my drop top Cadillac. I met this freak named Naomi, straight doctor work me and my homie. Rap and run, you know what I'm saying? Buff on the joint and hit some boo and start thinking of some crazy old things to do, like a barbecue. Cause I wanna have a piece and there's one on the west and another one on the east. Meg J. The C-A-L-I-F-O-R-N-I-A rap superstar. Dope for dope, I love to spit. And for the day, I love to hear. Over the end, so it can choke me. And when I get drunk, it will provoke me. Just bust the run through the mic. A west coast rap, the kind you like. You know, 40, all them niggas, you know. Flex just like a little old bitch all up in front of my company. I had a chain fast with him checked up and bucking. Him while I'm beating him down, pumping fear, talking about partner, you gonna retrospect something here. Is I, is I, should I save her? I wanna be safe. Easy as D. Coming dope is a must. I don't give a fuck about a dirty max slanging off a nigga nuts. I'm trying to get by, no need to speak, call me living real to the gang. So bitch, just blow me while I'm curving all night, it's going down like that. Totally insane, cause cash runs everything around me. So. We gon' make it sing, kick everywhere, feel me? Living in the back streets, living every day. You know, seeing from the rich. So fast the crippling, let me choke. Can't take past this drink, a dirty drink's got my throat. My reasons are known. Money who second that emotion. Hoorah, let's creep. So deep and loose. Now sleep. everybody's got their day. And jealous folks need to put it up. Hitting out my zone, I roam like mobile phones right. Rag top pets, Yukons and hogs with chrome Silly bitches lie wait until the day I come home While a phone machine kicks, bitch, bitch ain't at home Six million ways to mob, choose one 51, 50. You little dummy, you need to stop talking shit You got nerve, I give you credit, you think you hang My brother, we're not all in the same gang The punks, the suckers, the ponies, the perpetrators like you we're never even fitting the crew without sucking a dick. Uh, you pick the wrong guy, baby. If you're too fly, you need to hit the door. Search for a new guy. Cause I only got one night in town. Break out a be clown, baby doll. Are you down? I get around. This 
fucking gun. And there was rumors men and him had this say what? I jumped back a few steps. I had a call put me through to the house What's rest. Up? Yo, Jug Man is on. Mm. The pinkies got me jacked and his bugs in his telephone. Motherfucking cold world hustlers. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The guy jumping on the on the bus. <laughs> Man, if you try to do that in France, you die in a minute. Definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna put another one. Who is this? Prophet of Rage, straight out of Richmond. It's just a, yeah, it's just a song. Of Rage, this is my nigga right here. I was locked up with that nigga. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Waslo, Waslo Dilogy. Sound dope. Gangster, huh? Yeah. Ramène de l'offre à la demande, je suis à la fin du yébou, passe ta commande, faut que je vende, faut que tu sais, yo, c'est le yo, avec mon style, je fais mon art en art, faut que tu sais, yo, c'est le yo, je parle en perdant, d'ailleurs, je prends mon art, c'est le yo, 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 c'est le c'est vrai, ça fait longtemps qu'il n'y a plus d'amour Que de la pour bien Fourré dans un coup ou bien Fourré dans un coin Ça fait un bail de gros Quoi de neuf Tranquille Et un défi Connexion T'es pas décidé Tu vas dire au fini Mais c'était J'ai fait ça blanc Pas comme des sujets Un pic J'ai fait du hip-hop Ça met à pleurer J'ai mal à bouche La chacoupée Et les zoulous 
ça m'aide à prier Tu peux me supplier, je le fais à prier Je te la mets à l'envers, je suis pas là pour te faire n'importe quoi Ça j'ai déjà mon équipe de savants, ma tarelle colique à craquer Et t'en vas moi j'arrive devant son méthodique sur la vie mélodique Dans le cœur, au bout de la musique, dans mon fond, y'a ma tête, dans ma technique Ça va l'écrit, si tu peux pas comprendre, je suis pas là pour t'attendre Tu te tends d'une corde, tu te pends According to you, what's a glamorous lifestyle? <laughs> right there, man. Yeah. Bitches calling all day. Yeah, that's glamorous <laughs> lifestyle. Bitches you know calling right, is, right when I ask the question. You know what it is, man. What it sounds like is exactly what it means, you know? But, you know, we, we you might see the life and it might look glamour life to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, because hey, honestly, that song, that was like one of the best songs of 2009, period. Doing some of the shit they rap about, man, and they'll be able to do crowds like that, man. I. Get all the cash out of ass real fast, man. In and out burger, bitch. That's like the best after party ever, right now. It's the after party at In and Out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the quietest you gonna ever find some, some, you know, we mafia, we don't get all crazy and shit, you know, we keep it mafia, so. <laughs> cool. Any other time the police would have been called on this one. Uh, you can get arrested for like a burger. That's the, that's the point. Me? Why you shit about the poo for them police, this A party for you. Yeah, I remember. The boy them say go stuck in some crowd, the police, the boy them go stuck in that boy, you know. Fuck you all them. I know what that means. I 
I told you, best after party ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, drive, everybody drive safe, man. Because I'm walking right now, kind of. Say, okay, now what? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. The girl, <laughs> <laughs>